really warm up again. Mm -hmm. You can put the jackets away. We've needed them the past mm. few days. You probably won't need them this weekend. You may need the umbrella, however, if you're out and about tomorrow. We're going to break down your fall fun activities forecast in just a moment. But first, let's take a look outside. It's Friday night, taking you down the shore. I know this isn't the best camera shot we've ever seen in Ocean City, but that's kind of the point. We've got low clouds. You can see the fog kind of shrouding the lights there on the boardwalk. And notice the glistening along the boardwalk as well. It is wet down the shore. Showers moving on shore. I showed you Rehoboth Beach a little earlier. We've got some wet weather along the coast, and here's why. Storm Scan 3 shows the showers that are lurking out to sea and just moving in on that east wind. They really kind of fizzle as they move further inland, but if you are along the coast, you'll pick up a few showers tonight, and the best chance for showers tomorrow will be from the city on east. So we're not talking steady, heavy rain, but again, you can see down around Rehoboth Beach, up through Ocean City, Atlantic City, down through Cape May County, a few scattered showers and a few sprinkles here along 95 in Newcastle County, Delaware as well. Temperatures right now on the cool side, but we're not going to drop much below these numbers. Temps will actually start to rise gradually overnight as the winds become more of a southwest flow, especially further inland. You can see how the winds are starting to be a little more variable inland, even as we still have that brisk east wind along the coast. You wake up tomorrow morning to a lot of cloud cover, couple of showers in the morning and tomorrow is a cloudy day, but you can see through the day the chance for showers mainly limited to areas east of the city. If you're northwest, you may even see a little sunshine before the day is through. That then clears on out. Sunday starts off with cloud cover as well. But as we await the arrival of our next cold front, we're going to see kind of what we call a blowtorch flow. Southwest wind picking up in the afternoon that will allow the sun to peak out briefly. And then here comes this front. This is 7 o'clock Sunday evening, a line of showers, perhaps even a rumble of thunder as the front comes through. That'll clear the coast by about midnight. Lingering clouds early Monday morning, but then Monday turns out sunny and much, much cooler. This is when fall weather is really going to settle in across the area. Let's break down your Saturday. You probably have some fall fun in the uh, in the plans here. If you're apple picking in the morning, 67. It'll be mostly cloudy, but it will be mild. 76 if you're at the pumpkin patch in the afternoon and a haunted hayride. Once the sun goes down, take the sweatshirt. It's not going to be chilly, but we'll be in the 60s, so a little bit on the cool side. Temperatures rise this weekend, and then we fall off a cliff next week. Look at this barely getting into the 60s by Monday and Tuesday. We've been waiting for fall weather to really arrive and it is going to get here as we head into next week. Let's break down that eyewitness weather seven day forecast. 77 degrees is the high tomorrow. It is mostly cloudy, a stray shower, but not really a wet day, just not a very nice day to look at. Sunday, more sunshine, warm and muggy, 80 degrees, showers Sunday evening, but next week, is the jackpot zone. Cool and crisp with sunshine Monday and Tuesday. A little warmer by the end of the week. We're back to the low 70s. It looks like it's going to last through the weekend as well. Just a perfect fall week ahead. Yeah, that's nice to see. Thanks, Kate.